Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part three of the giant 3D printed Lego electric skateboard. So check out part one to see how it was made. It was about 500 hours 3D printing. In part two, I took it out and tested it and we had a fairly successful test run. It all seems to work pretty well. The batteries lasted well. My 3D printed rubber tires lasted out and it's all still in one piece. So in this episode, we're gonna tidy up all the wiring, put some extra features on and give it a final test. I really like the idea of putting headlamps and a tail light on it and I built the 80s Lego electric motor so I wanted to put the lights on and they look like this basically. There's quite a few other Lego bricks that have come since with lights in but these are the ones I remember from my childhood. So I got a normal 2x2 brick, most of these files came from Thingiverse, check out the description for the previous parts to see where I got the files from and I've modified that in Fusion 360 and that's allowed me to hollow it out so we can put um, a piece of frosted plastic on the front and put some illumination inside. Here they are, so I've done two with clear fronts on them and I've done one with red and this filament is Tallman Tea Glass which comes in a variety of colours but it's very very optically clear so I've just printed those parts and put them in so we can put LEDs in and they'll light up like the originals. Before I do that, I need to sort out the electronics on the board. During the previous testing, I just basically velcroed the batteries to the back axle and these are the wires that attach, so I want to make some sort of housing that looks like a Lego brick to put those in. The ESC is also on the outside here. We may relocate that, although I'm a bit worried about enclosing it. I've made a custom 6x2 brick to hold the batteries and that's got a lid that removes, it actually slides off within those pieces so that I can get to the batteries easily. It's going to be glued down from the bottom and I've also made a base for it which can sit slightly lower near the axle so I get enough height for both batteries. It's got various holes and cutoffs so it fits neatly with the other pieces and I can run the wires through those holes. Here they are, so the lid slides on. It's got a hole in the top here to run the wires out for my rear tail light that will sit just over it there. And we've also got the tray for the bottom, which will fit right in to stop the batteries falling out so they don't rest on the drive shaft anymore. So that fits neatly there. I've put the ESC under here for now. I'm gonna leave it out so lots of air can get to it. I could build another custom brick, but I think I'll leave it for now. And inside here, We've got the batteries neatly tucked away and also the radio control receiver you can just see there. So now let's put some LEDs in my lights. I'm using these LED clusters which are really bright and run up to 24 volts. I've got holes in my base plate already so I can just wire those in, place them down and place the light brick on top and that should work pretty well. My handset has a channel 3 which is just a button and this will just make a swing in the value on channel 3 so I can either move the servo from one position to another or I can use an electronic switch and turning G-Mate just a thing like that which is capable of 10 amps at 30 volts which should be more than enough for those LEDs. It's hard to see but I've run the wire from the lights at the front up the side here, up the side of that bit of plywood under the board all the way up. It pops out here and goes into the back here so it can go into the battery brick. Well, those are really bright. It should be awesome at night time. Right, we've got a couple of extra things to attach and then we're ready for another test.
So I glued back on the pieces that kept falling off, like the Lego bricks and the Lego man, so now I declare this project finished. There are a few improvements we could still make, the steering isn't very tight, so some people suggested I use the reverse kingpin longboard truck, which has up to 50 degrees steering. I actually purchased some, but I can't fit them in there because the wheels then hit these Lego uh, yellow bricks on the side when it steers too much, unless I put the wheel right forward off the end. But I'll consider that for future builds. The other thing was I was going to put a bike computer on it to measure how fast it went, but I can't actually put the wheel diameter into the computer because basically they're much smaller than bike wheels, and all of the measurements it wanted were the rim size less the tyre, so even if I blagged it, it wouldn't have been very accurate Anyway, in the future I'll mark out 100 metres and we'll time with a run up how fast I can go through the 100 metres and basically do a speed trial and work out how fast it can go. I think it's probably more than 20 miles an hour though, it felt pretty fast when I was on it and you can see that in the video. So there is going to be another electric skateboard build with a particular theme, so don't forget to subscribe to see that in my channel and all the other projects. And also it's really important to note that these projects are all funded through Patreon, so have a look at patreon.com slash xrobots and you can get access to some exclusive rewards, including all my videos early, a live stream with me, and almost daily sneak peeks and pics of upcoming projects, including the next board. Alright, so that's all for now.